Hello, my name is Jason from septictank.co.uk and thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video today. In this video I'm going to show you what a septic tank and soakaway are, how a septic tank and soakaway work, why a septic tank and soakaway become blocked, and then I'm going to show you how to unblock your septic tank and soak away and keep them unblocked and save thousands of pounds in repair uh, and replacement costs. So, what is a septic tank and soak away? A septic tank and soak away is an off main sewage system and are designed for properties that are not connected to the mains drainage. This kind of sewage system normally comprises of two main components. Number one, the septic tank, and number two, the soak away. The wastewater leaves the house and then enters into the septic tank. From there, the wastewater makes its way up through the outlet pipe of the septic tank and then makes its way from the septic tank towards the pipes that lead towards the soak away. From there, the wastewater then makes its way down the pipes into the soak away pipes and then from there it drains naturally into the soil. So now we're going to look at why does a septic tank and soak away develop problems? Main problem is sludge. Sludge builds up at the bottom of the tank and over time it slowly rises making its way up the septic tank. In time this sludge starts to make its way up the outlet pipe. Once it starts to make its way up the outlet pipe it then leaves the septic tank and starts to make its way from the septic tank through the pipes that lead to the soak away completely blocking it up blocking those pipes up as it goes within a short space of time the sludge makes its way through the entire arteries of the soak away pipe system completely clogging up those soak away pipes stopping the wastewater from freely moving and soaking away into the soil okay so at this point you've normally got two options number one you can continue to keep getting your septic tank emptied for me, after 14 years in the business, that isn't a viable option anymore. Why not? Because it costs money, £150 a go typically, to get your septic tank emptied once every month, once every two months, once every three months. It's expensive and there's a better way. Option two, you can get your septic tank and soak away rotted or jetted. But for me, again, that's not a viable option. Why not? Because if your um, soak away pipes are completely clogged up and blocked with grease, rodding them is just going to poke through the grease. People think if they get them jetted you're going to blast all that grease and sludge out, but it's not true because soak away pipes are under the ground, they're in the soil, there is no exit point as such, there's only soil surrounding them at the end of the pipes and around the pipes. So if you try and jet those soak away pipes it's just going to compound the issue, compressing the sludge and the grease and the fat together, making the situation worse. 
Okay, so if those two options, which are common solutions, aren't viable, what is um, the solution that's going to save you and me thousands of pounds in, in repair costs and saving having to replace and repair your septic tank and soak away? So, how can you fix your septic tank and soak away problems? Worms have been around for thousands of years, converting waste and byproducts into safe, clean organic matter. Soak away worms are an incredible, safe, natural and organic solution. These soak away worms will not only eat and clean out the fat in your um, septic tank and soak away system, they'll also prevent it from ever clogging or blocking up again. Soak away worms are also very easy to uh, install and get in to your septic tank or soak away system. I've created a short video now which will show you how to get soak away worms into your soak away or septic tank or rainwater soak away and I'll also show you how they work. Step 1. Remove the lid from the septic tank and pour the worms and the bedding all into the tank and then replace the lid. The worms will fall to the bottom of the tank and very quickly they'll adjust to their surroundings. They'll start burrowing into that sludge and making their way up through the outlet pipe towards the pipes that lead towards the soak away. The worms very quickly will start breeding and multiplying, making their way through that sludge, through the pipes. And very quickly, these worms will penetrate your entire soak away pipe system. Step two, the worms will very quickly start to eat and digest the sludge, fat and grease that are blocking your soak away pipes. As the worms eat and remove the sludge, the soak away pipes will allow the wastewater to flow freely once again. Step three, soak away worms will also unblock and clean your septic tank. As we've seen, sludge is the main reason why septic tanks and soak aways develop problems. The worms will not only remove the sludge from the septic tank, they'll also keep it clean. So instead of having to desludge your septic tank once, twice, three times a year, they'll reduce your septic tank emptying times to virtually once every 10, 15 or 20 years. Soak away worms unblock septic tanks and soakaways. They unblock rainwater soakaways. Soakaway worms will clean your septic tank and soakaway and keep it clean. They'll prevent your soakaway from becoming clogged and blocked again. And they'll save you thousands of pounds in repair costs and estimates. For more information, please visit us at www.septictank.co.uk. Okay.